A rose can never be a sunflower, and a sunflower can never be a rose. All flowers are beautiful in their own way, and that's like women too. She often told us that when the flowers of the yellow bells touch the roof of our home, we will become rich or maybe abundant. I didn't know what she meant during the time, but 20 years after her passing, I still take care of the tree. I believe that it still brings good luck and abundance, for it had reach our roof once in its lifetime. The painting series Beneath the Love Letters is inspired from the letters of my father to my mother as he courted her. A pile of love letters dating back 1965 until she said yes. The love letter series is not just about the relationship of my father and mother but also the women of our lives. Each woman is represented by the kind of flower that she is. I didn't realize that there is a thin connection between my Androflora series and the Beneath the Love Letters painting series. I am not a portrait artist. Each painting represents a name, but the face may be universal. Each stroke reminds me of who she is or who she was, what color she represents, and how delicate or strong she might be. This painting is for my brother, Alvin, who is celebrating his birthday today. Alvin is my only link to the belief and the hope of the yellow bells. Alvin and my mom, the late Perpetua Estampador, they are similar in many ways. They're protective, strong, resilient, caring, thoughtful, and yes, someone everyone goes to in a time of need. We may never see the margins between purples and blues, or the textures of our hardships. To Alvin, there will be always time to believe, chances to trust, and embrace the power of hope, as long as there will be yellow bells alive in our hearts.